Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Arts Network Art Challenge. So today I'm going to be showing you a technique um, that you can use to make your own batik print at home. And batik is a dyeing technique used in um, loads of parts of South Asia. And it basically uses wax and dye to create lovely patterns on fabric. So the things you're gonna need for this activity are some fabric. And I've got two pieces here because I'm gonna show you two different techniques. Um, it can be cotton or calico, something that will take in um, the paint. Uh, you're gonna need a pencil. You're gonna need a brush. Um, I have three brushes so I can put them in each color, but you don't need three, you can use one brush. You're gonna need some glue and this needs to be washable glue so pva or elmer's glue but it needs to be washable that's really important and you're gonna need some acrylic paint so you can use as many colors as you want i've got a green a yellow and a purple here and you're gonna need some um, containers for water some water and i've got here a little rag just to um, clean things if they get messy Alrighty, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your design onto your fabric. Once you've drawn your design with um, pencil, you can go ahead and go over the lines with your glue. I'm going to do the same to the other one and then you just have to leave them to dry. You have to leave them to dry until the glue is completely, completely dry. So once your glue is completely dry, we can move on to the next step. And just um, note that it might take a while for the glue to dry, so you might have to leave it overnight for it to dry. So. What we're gonna do now is prepare our paint. So you got your vessels with water and what I'm gonna do is just water down my acrylics so they're kind of like a watercolory consistency. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of color to my water. And you kind of want it to be the consistency of milk Okay, so once you have your colors watered down, you can go ahead and dye your fabric. So there's two ways you can go about this. Um, I'll show you one first. Let me just move things around so you can see. Right. So first method is doing a sort of ombre effect. And that just means that you will sort of fade away the colors. So for example, I'll start with yellow, then green, and you just wanna blend them, blend them a bit where they meet. And there you have it. So once you've done that, you can put that aside and leave it to dry. And I'll show you how to do the other one. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more of this purple to make it more um, vivid. So the next technique is literally kind of like coloring in. So you're coloring the different sections with your paint. There you go. Now um, you're gonna leave them to dry and then we can move on to the next step. So just leave them to dry. 
so once your paint has dry all you need to do is wash the glue away so there's two ways you can go about it you can um, dip your piece of cloth in some water and just leave it there for an hour or so until the glue has dissolved and then just give it a rub and it should the glue should just come off or you can put it in your washing machine um, but if you do that just remember to put it with nothing else otherwise it might stain other things that you put in and there you go that's the result this one is the one that doesn't have glue anymore so as you can see everywhere where you had glue um, remained like a negative space so there you have it you can go ahead and do your own um, batik pieces you can add as much detail as you want as many colors as you want and remember to share your creations with us we would love to see them and I hope you're staying well, you're staying creative, and you're staying connected. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.